no one there. Live. Hey everyone, Hassan There's here. No one there. Welcome to the world of Ha. Hello everyone, I'm which here. is no one, which is me. I'm not Maheen, and I'm very <laughs> tired. If you're in the chat, say hi. Oh, yay, one person, hello. <laughs> What's up, Flip Boy? Yeah. Smash It Games Leonardo on Cage, team Leonardo team. team. Oh, okay. Gaming right. with Amy. Hello. What's up, everyone? So today, we have another 1UP Box unboxing video for you. Yay. So thank you to 1UP Box for sending us this. This is a monthly box of random nerdy goodies. Yay. And there's an exclusive t-shirt each month as well. So this month's theme is Hello. Quest. So if you're interested, I'll put a link in the description box below after the live stream is over to sign up. But here it is. So we're going to open it up live and show you what's inside. Oh my god. I see something. Right, what do we see? Think. Okay, I thought it might be Adventure Time and it is. I guess it's sort of a fusion between um the dog, Jake, and Lady Rainicorn, whatever her I think that's her name, his like wife or girlfriend in the show. So I guess it's a fusion between them. That's really cute. That I used to watch sense. Adventure Time and then I stopped and I don't know if it's still on, but yeah. So that's really cute actually. Anybody in the chat watch Adventure Time? We just got started, so you're not late. All we did and is then, got well, this. Well, here's the t-shirt, which looks pretty cool. Right, what do we got for this month? Looks like Spider-Man, I think. Is that Spider-Man? Well, let's turn it around. What is it? Let's so see. it's like scratch marks across like the torso and like what looks like a costume. And I, I think, think so. Spider-Man. It's like Spider-Man, so, like, right? Spider but like scratched up kind of, mm -hmm. right? Next. What do you see, guys? Me. Is that... Usually it's a combination of two different things, though. So what else is it? Cause it's it's got to be Spider-Man and something else, cause usually it's a crossover. Maybe. Spider oh wait, is that Wolverine? Superman? Like the S kind of, but not really. I don't, I don't think so, cause it looks too much like Spider-Man. Yeah. No, but like it like the, with the black maybe. outlines, kind of like maybe a, and maybe Wolverine. Or something. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what it is. and then next we've got um, a lanyard with Final Fantasy characters on. I believe that's Sephiroth and Cloud. I think, and those little. Whatever those are, there's Sephiroth, and those then there's Chocobos or I think so, different? and then there's Cloud, I believe, or I'm getting it wrong, but yeah, so that's pretty cool, and they've got cake on there, and it's really cute, but I don't think Sephiroth would appreciate that as the character that he is. Okay, so there's one thing. Um, here, of course, is the pin as normal, which is a fox. Oh, he's banging a huge hammer on the panda's head. It's not very nice. That is Quest, again, is the theme for this month. Next is a wallet. That's pretty cool. It's an Avengers wallet. Yeah. I can tell it's nice, but I don't think... It's not the... Right, it's got the four main Avengers. Yeah, it does yeah. feel kind of... I don't know. It says Marvel it's Avengers. It's like, you know those reusable shopping bags that you can get for grocery stores and stuff? I think that's what it's made out of. I mean, is it actually a wallet? I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know. The only thing is, Whoa. this is, um, it's really massive though. Like, I wouldn't use a wallet this big. Yeah. I feel like this is too huge to fit in my pocket. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Spoken like a true guy. Tom and Jerry. That's something different. I would not expect Tom and Jerry from this box. I don't... Quest? Is that a quest? I guess, I guess there there's an eternal quest for Tom to catch yeah. Jerry. So. You know what? I like Tom. I don't like Jerry. That's Tom's house. He's the pet. Jerry, Jerry needs to leave, and Jerry's always the one making, making, like, picking on Tom, so Jerry's the real, you know, the real bad guy in the show. Not Tom and, not Tom. Although I believe Wait. they're actually really friends, and they're just... Am I, am I forgetting, or is, was Jerry, was Jerry Brown? Yeah, no? Jerry he was Brown. Okay. But he's just a different style. Maybe just the way yeah. it's animated just looks odd to me. I was like, wait, is it kind of so, threw me off, but... So, oh, okay, looks like I'm not the only one who feels that way, because look, here's the little paper for this uh, month's box, and it looks like everyone's after him. Hmm. Like, Tom's trying to get him to come out, and Jake looks pretty angry. Poor Jerry. There's Cloud, and Spider-Man, and um, <laughs> Captain America. Oh, my God. <laughs> Iron Man? Iron Man. I mean, they're basically the same thing anyway, so... Mm. So, okay, so and it tells you you can get on the back. So, one of four Adventure Time plushes. So, you could have gotten um, 
This one you could have gotten uh, the elephant. I forgot her name, but the Something elephant. Picture. Yeah, the elephant. You know, that's an old lady who makes some pies. Or Fiona, I think her name is. And then the vampire girl, Marceline. So there's that. The lanyard, which is just standard. Same for everyone. There's one of two Marvel wallets. So you could either get either, either get the Avenger, Avengers or you could have gotten Spider-Man. Spider -Man. Oh, that would have been cool. And then Tom and Jerry stickers. Just cute. Cat and Mouse... Cat and Mouse sticker set. They don't even call them Tom and Jerry, but Cat and Mouse. But like, you know it's Tom and Jerry, so I wonder why they didn't use the names. That's weird. And it does call this the Spidey exclusive t-shirt. Yeah. So I guess it's just straight Spider-Man, which is kind of new for one of Box to not do like crossovers of stuff. But I love Spider-Man, so I will take it. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, hey, it works. I guess if he's wearing this costume and he gets attacked by something. I guess so. Huh, interesting. <clears throat> so that is the items for this month. It's kind of odd to, to me. This month was a little, a little weird. Just I don't think all of these necessarily fit the theme of quest. Um, I think I would say odd. the one that fits in most maybe is like Adventure Time because it's Adventure Time, and probably Final Fantasy. But other than that. And I guess I could see, like, the Marvel stuff. Yeah. Possibly. I mean, they do go on quests. They all things. have their own version of a quest. So, uh, so you can see the qual the wallet. It's like this, and then... Yeah, oh. Yeah, that's... Oh, okay. Not super great quality. <laughs> not, not, the, not the greatest, but, you know, we're not... Ex Lanyards are cool, yeah. This is the but, lanyard. I mean, it's still cute. I would say maybe... Give it to, like, a little kid. Yeah. Yeah, give it to a child, you know, to hold their change. Yeah, this was definitely probably the most odd one in the group. Like something you would not have expected. Tom and, and they Jerry. don't even they they don't even call it Tom and Jerry. They call it Cat and Mouse. Well, on here it's like a different animated style. On the little picture on the front, it's like your traditional Tom and Jerry. You know? Yeah. So it's like interesting that they did that. They did like the traditional style here, but then the stickers are like this weird little animated version unless this is a new version on tv that i, I mean i don't know. maybe it is i don't know i don't know do you guys know is this is this like a new version of tom and jerry that they show on tv or is this just i don't know something different hmm no it's not okay well that answers that question gotcha so what do you guys think <laughs> of this stuff in the one-up box um it's not okay Max and Ruby, Ruby and Max. That's not Max and Ruby. That's a totally different no. show. It's something else. That's not. That has I mean to be the Tom style, and... but it can't. It's not another cat and mouse. It's Tom and Jerry. They That's even not have... Max and Ruby at all. Yeah, they <laughs> have Tom and Jerry in their like original animation style or their original like art style. Right here on the thing. The still. I'm not sure. I'm confused too. This month, gaming with Amy, I would say is you know not not some super great stuff, but usually yeah, yeah. one up boxes have actually been pretty good. I, I will say for the most part, um, they because I used to get loot crates and then I stopped because they just weren't mm -hmm. that great. But um, but for the most part, one up boxes have actually been been pretty nice, especially the shirts. They always do really well with the shirts. Um, I have a whole bunch of them that I that I frequently wear. So those are definitely pretty nice. What else? Anybody in the chat? Any other comments? Okay. You guys are awfully quiet today. Hi. I. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Loot Crate went downhill. Yeah. I haven't seen what they do anytime mm -hmm. recently, but I stopped a while ago. My day is good. How was your day? Not bad. I think both of us are slightly under the weather a little bit, like, <clears throat> mm -hmm. so we're just kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Boxes with good shirts, though. Yes, that's the one thing about one of boxes. Most of the shirts have been, have been pretty nice, and every month there's definitely a shirt. Shout out. What's up, Philip? Shout out to Philip. Yeah. Um... 
Yeah, with loot crates, you didn't always get a shirt. I don't know if they changed that or not, but one of boxes every month you're guaranteed a shirt, which is nice. Definitely. Yep, I agree. What else? You guys are quiet today. <laughs> I have not seen Adventure Time. Favorite toy to mess around with? I'm not sure. Hmm. I don't know. I would say board games probably. You play board games sometimes. More like gaming stuff oh. probably for me. Hmm. What's your favorite Ninja Steel toy? Uh, that's a tough one because hmm. most of them are not that great. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, it's Ryan Earl Wizard Magic Dragon Thomas. <laughs> the most epic name. Have I found the Blaze Megazord? No, I have not. Oh, no. <laughs> unfortunately. But I did see somebody mention that they spotted it elsewhere in the state, more down south. So mm -hmm. maybe it's at my local Toys R Us now. Mm -hmm. I checked a few days maybe ago. Maybe you have to go so. down south. Maybe. Mm -hmm. You subscribe. Yay. Thanks, Yay. Philip. So has anyone been watching? Well, I mean, it's old news now, but who here watched Stranger Things? Oh, actually, I will be right back. That um, reminds me of something. Oh, okay. I, I know never what did. Uh, I'm all alone with you guys. And come back. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> all right. So, they released... At Target, Target exclusive, season one of Stranger Things on DVD and Blu-ray. It was on sale on Black Friday for ten bucks. I was like, uh, yeah, this collectible That's really booklet good, and everything, actually, $10. like for the entire season on DVD and Blu-ray in this collectible like VHS style packaging. Heck yeah, it's got a collectible poster and stuff. Ooh. So I didn't open it, so I was like, hey, let's, do, let's it. do it. Open it. Okay. Only at Target, season one collector's edition includes floor booth for Blu-ray. Oh. You know what that's on the moon? Is that supposed to be there? I mean, I think it's supposed to be there, but I don't know what it means. I think, you mean, wait, that that thing right there? ST300. I feel like that's like, you know, old VHS tapes, they have little well, stickers and things. stuff. Uh, yeah, but like the yellow is supposed to be like a little sticker that they used to have uh, on old VHS okay. things. So yeah, you've got um, Look at L that. and that the Nerd cool. Squad on there. So that's, and it even slides out, so oh. that's pretty cool. Oh man, oh, it looks yeah. like a VHS tape. Like that. Look at that. That's pretty awesome, like the that old school great. VHS tapes. Please rewind, please be kind and please rewind. That's pretty fantastic. I remember they made a movie out of that. And I think they actually got in trouble because there was this skit. Do you guys remember the Amanda show? There was a skit about like this family running a video store and like they would replace really good movies with their own remakes of it. And it was terrible. And that's what that movie was about. So, you know, they got the stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. All the discs are in there, I think. That's, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's neat how it... So it folds up, so you have two two Blu-rays, and then it folds open like this, basically, and there's DVDs inside. Yeah. And oh. it's got, like, a little picture of... Of, like, reaching, out, reaching of the, uh, out from the upside down. That's pretty yeah. cool. And it's, like, not the tra traditional thing yeah, where it really folds in the center. It's, like, it's foam instead. That's kind of cool. And it says, friends don't lie on a little notepad right there. Mm -hmm. And the sticker says, limited edition poster. Oh, okay, so. And then, of course, let's check the poster out. Oh, that's, oh, that's cool. Oh, so. nice. It says, Stranger Things, and you got, like, the Demogorgon there and everything. And it says, Stranger Things, and I guess in sort of, like, boned organs are, like, in the monster's parts, I guess. That's really awesome. I like that. That's different than I was expecting. I was expecting yeah, I thought it would be something kids. like this. Yeah. But I guess they have this as the cover, which is really neat. And then that is a cool little poster. And then, yeah. And they've got a pocket right there for you to tuck it into. Right. Mm, I love the little back and everything with the picture. Yeah. I wonder what they'll do with um, season two. Mm. 
I you guys have not seen this. You gotta see it. The eighties classics that captivated a generation. Stranger Things is set in nineteen eighty three. Deanna, where a young boy vanishes in thin air as friends, Hamlin, look police search for answers. They are drawn into extraordinary adventure. Little girl. TV fourteen, Blu-ray, DVD. Oh, Blu-ray. 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 Yeah, I really enjoyed That's season three of Stranger Things. So season one is available now at Target in that yeah. packaging right there. It's not going to be ten bucks, but it's still no. I think pretty affordable. Yeah, but I like how the edges are like it's like an old frayed VHS cardboard box. Yeah. Yes, Ghost Rider. I do watch The Walking Dead. In fact, there's another. There's a new episode either starting right now, I think, or in an hour. I think right now. I have um, it recorded. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. I mean, I don't care about any free. Yeah, I fast forward through the commercials, <laughs> so I don't have to sit and wait. Commercials. Yeah, so that's, um, you got an extra little unboxing in this video. Do I know who Rice Gum is? I know he's another YouTuber. I don't mm -hmm. watch his stuff. I've seen him in other people's videos mm -hmm. once or twice, but I don't watch his stuff. Yeah. I'm just going to see something. Oh, it's almost time for... The Last Jedi, and I know it's like, oh, it's still, it's still over a month away. Is it? No, less not than really. A month away. Yeah, it's like a couple weeks away. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like not three that weeks, far. I think. Yeah. And hi, Chris. I'm not good at art. You were just painting. I mean, yeah, but that's but easy not, yeah. painting. Like, I'm painting something easy. Does anyone recognize the kitty on my shirt? If you do, you're awesome. Chris, we gotta play Splatoon sometime. It's been a while. Ninja Steel Christmas Stewie. episode is airing on Saturday. Uh. Long yes. toys. Yeah, that's my friend Chris. I used to play the violin, and I want to get back into it. I played the flute, and I have my flute. And I used to play French horn as well. Snake no. And then, um, we're doing a live video, by the way. Um, <laughs> I heard someone walking. Yeah, new updates, Chris. I played it the other day. Uh, the new Salmon Run stage and everything else. It was a lot of fun. Mm. You're in the video. Look at them. Look at <laughs> That's them. my mom, I think, right? Yeah. I think so. Um, I've been playing a lot of Mario Odyssey. That's a lot of fun. I like... I remember, I think one of the, my biggest things about like the Mario games, like Mario Sunshine and all those things, is like you would beat it. And you could continue to play after that to like get shine sprites or whatever stars or whatever that you didn't get, but it wouldn't be like you beat Bowser. It would go back to you just before you went to the final level. So it's like you would have. It was basically as you were beating. It's basically like you never beat the final boss. Basically, mm -hmm. even if you went back and played. I like the element in this, where it continues on after you defeat Bowser for the final time. And you can keep playing beyond that. And after that, it's like, oh, you know, just collect more stars. Go at your own pace. Be leisurely and whatever. And because I remember when I was playing the first time through, I'm like, this is going through really, really fast. This is going to be a short game. And then you're like, nope. Yeah, the real game is like afterwards. It's kind of like Breath of the Wild, where once you beat the boss, you're back as if you didn't beat the boss. Like, it starts you right back before. Like, you can never truly beat the boss and end it. Like, it just brings you right back. I think that's probably an analogy for how it is for Link and Zelda and Ganondorf. They're forever stuck in that cycle of yeah. repeatedly. But I guess it makes sense, too, because if you, if you beat the boss, then all the villains, enemies, and stuff would disappear in the world, and then you can't go explore again. Mm -hmm. So I guess they have to make it so you can still go back and explore the yeah. whole world and stuff. Roblox, that sounds... Familiar. I've heard of that. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But. 2012, 2007, 2007. Huh. Yay. Thanks, Mayor Galkin. What's up, Robin? Geek Review, shout out. Yay. What's up? <laughs> Time Force is your favorite. Nice. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> hmm, embarrassing moment. Probably not something I want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, yes. so real quick Shout recap. Out. 
We got a lanyard, Mayor Gawkin, shout out. Uh, mm. I got a lanyard. We got this thing from Adventure Time. Oh, gosh. We got these stickers from Tom and Jerry. This, uh, I, this. Uh, favorite Family Matters episode. I, I, I don't think I really remember the show enough to name a favorite episode. Yeah, I don't, I can't remember enough to name one. Hmm. Yes, I'm a fan of Time Force. Mm. I've met everybody from Time Force. Urkel, Urkel as Bruce Lee. Oh, was that an episode? I oh. guess he became a martial arts expert or something. Because that that's the only funny. thing I can think of. Because what did Bruce? When did Bruce Lee die? Wasn't he dead before Family Matters came on or whatever? I don't remember. I don't know. Anyway, wait. Six point five inch. Okay. Time inventions. Who? Urkels? Power Rangers is not dead. It's probably not. It's not. It's still going. It might <laughs> not, not be yet what it used to be. But Maybe it is in still a couple going. years it might be dead. Mm -hmm. But right now it's 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 sick right now. Yeah. Very just, sick. Yeah. It needs to get better. But it's not dead. We're we're not in critical condition yet. No. <laughs> um all right guys. Um iPad Pro is pretty cool. So we're gonna head out, but hopefully you enjoyed this one-up box unboxing video. So link in the description box below after this video, I'll put it there soon uh, if you are interested in signing up. Uh, this month was okay, but you know, usually we get some pretty cool stuff. Yeah. And the shirt I'm excited about because I like Spider-Man.